Alright guys, welcome back to Grim Reaper RC, and today in this video, we're going to be doing some more upgrades to the Traxxas Drag Slash. We have part number 3340, which is a fan for the ESC. Then we have part number 9462, which is the aluminum wheelie bar. So let's get into it guys. Today is going to be a really good video, you're not going to want to miss it, so make sure you guys stay tuned. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification button so you guys get notified whenever I upload a really cool video just like this one. All right, guys, recently we just installed the rear carbon fiber wing on the Praxis Drag Slash, and this looks absolutely amazing. Take a look at that. You guys could see the full install video of that and this arrow kit in the previous videos that I have released that will be linked in the description box down below. I also did a headlight and taillight kit in here from Traxxas themselves, so I will be linking those videos in the description box down below. But let's get into what we will be doing today in this video. Let's take a look at part number 3340. This is designed for the v Valenian VXL 3S system, which is inside of this beast right here. We will be installing this because if you guys know, when the summer comes rolling around the corner and we're doing some nice drag passes, warming up the tires, well, the ESC is going to be warming itself up too. So we want to stop that from happening. We're going to cool it down just a little bit. So we will be using this Valenian fan take a look at the match in blue does match the body perfectly well so speaking of the body let's take that double off and we'll start installing the esc fan so you guys can see the 3d printed arrow kit on here already which looks absolutely amazing we will be taking a look at the, inst the instruction manual before we just start pushing things on because we do need this esc wire right here which is the JST mail plug so the VXL 3S cooling fan installation to install the cooling fan press the fan tabs over the VXL 3S heat sink until they snap on plug the VXL 3S cooling fan connector into the plug on the front of the cooling fan installation notes the fan must blow air across the fins be sure the V decal faces up the fan plug should face the front of the VXL. Okay, that's a good thing to note. The fan is not water resistant. Always turn off the VXL 3S and unplug the model battery when not in use. Periodically remove the fan and clean any debris from the fan and heatsink. So that is a good thing to note. So with all of that being said, we're just going to keep this in here and we will push this on. Let's see. There we go. And then we'll plug this in like such. And that is just how simple it is to install the Valenian fan. All right, guys. Let's take this stuff out of the way. We'll throw the body back on. All right, with the body back on. Now we will be taking a look at Traxxas part number 9462. All right, so taking a look at part number 9462, it says up close here that they are the side plates for the wheelie bar and they are in charcoal gray. They are aluminum and they do come with two of them. Oh, on the back it says stuff in not English, so we won't even be reading that. So I guess it's not important. These are made in Taiwan. Oh, oh, hit the camera a little bit right there on the counter swing. That was a good one. That's definitely a uh, 2022 rewind moment. All right, so we have the wheelie bars here. I'm not even going to edit that out. I'm leaving that in. They do have the engraved Traxxas logo on them, which looks absolutely amazing. I'll stop shaking right here. 
Look at how cool these look, huh? I can't wait to install that to this. It's definitely gonna look good, especially with the rims. Wow, you guys are out of focus. Jeez, all right. So like I was saying, it definitely will look good with the rims. So let's go ahead and grab the wheelie bar. We'll grab our two millimeter hex screwdriver and we'll start getting a wrench in. So grabbing our wheelie bar, we can see here that we're gonna be having to take out the middle pieces and we're gonna be needing to take the wheels as well. So we will start with the front and work our way to the back. Well, this is definitely going to be harder than expected. I thought this was supposed to be an exact fit, but it seems like it does not want to. We're gonna end up breaking off these plastic pieces. Hmm. I do not know how I feel about that. I will get back with you guys when I figure out what's going on. All right, guys, so under further investigation, those plastic pieces on the side do have to be broken off, which is definitely something that they should have included in a small instruction booklet or something that they should have stated online. So now with both of the plastic side pieces broken off, we can continue to go ahead and install our wheelie bar. We will be loosening it up just a little bit more to make everything roll. So there we go, once everything is lined up, it will be perfect. All right, so now we can work on the second bar. Hopefully we do not have to remove these pins. It seems like they should fit right inside of the aluminum housing here, which they do perfectly. Amazing. Traxxas always has such great products. Now, I don't know if we're fully gonna connect this side yet. We'll leave one side fully unconnected all the way through. That way we could just get everything in the lineup properly.
Also, another great thing that I love about Traxxas is that most of their sizes are all the same for screws, so that way you don't have to get too confused. And like I said, we are just putting in one side completely for now and leaving the other side open. That way we can have room for adjustments or anything that we need to do. All right, so now taking off one of the bigger bars on the whaley bar, we're just gonna keep it in the same orientation. As we can see, the larger holes are on the bottom and the big swoop is going this way. So we're just gonna keep it lined up the same way. That way we know what we're doing. So we have four screws to remove on the cross brace to the wheelie bar here. It's gonna be the same in the front and we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we just keep everything facing the same way because of the directions of the triangles here. You guys can see that there are two regular triangles here and then the isosceles triangles on the sides. I hope I said that right. Who knows if I did. It's been a long time since I've had math class. That's for sure. Roast me in the comment section down below if I was wrong though. Or in the comment section below, tell me if you guys like this wheelie bar or if you ordered one for your own Traxxas Drag Slash. All right, so now with all four screws removed, keep in the same orientation, just like such. We will be installing it to wheelie bar here. If we could just get everything to line up properly, that would be amazing. And then we're just gonna pinch to hold it in place right when we're lined up. And then we're gonna hand thread as much of it in as we can to get it lined up and going. So that is placed now. We will be doing the same thing on the other side. We will just be tightening it down hand tight in place like such. And then we will be doing the same thing to the top mounts. Perfect. That way nothing's rotating or spinning on us when we're tightening these down. Nothing will get stripped, nothing will get bent. All right, perfect. And then we're gonna flip it over to this side and we're gonna continue to tighten it down. All right, and at this point, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the two screws that we did not on this side already because we are on our last brace, which means that we can just push it on from the outside. We don't have to worry about getting anything lined up or being in too tight. Now grabbing the last screw for the back brace. And we will be tightening up everything as much as pop as much as necessary, not as much as possible. Perfect. Alright. 
struggle to get the screw on, but we did it, and we are tightening up the last screw into the back brace. And kaboom, just like that, it is complete with the back brace. Now we just have to take off the front one, and we are complete. All right, guys, so that's all we have is one more bar left to switch over, and then we will be able to install the wing onto the Traxxas drag slash, which will be awesome. So as I said, there are four more screws, and then we are going to be removing the front crossbar. We're gonna be installing the same screws that we take out into the cross member on the new cut aluminum wheelie bar, which looks absolutely amazing. So we do not need these bars anymore. This wheelie bar, I haven't even used the tracks of slash yet. I've just been doing all of these upgrades and we will be using it very shortly. Don't you guys worry? I have a perfect, uh, basically a drag strip that I will be bringing this thing to. We'll be bringing the GPS and we'll be seeing how fast we can do our 132 foot runs. I think we'll be able to do them fairly quickly, especially with all of the upgrades that we're gonna be doing. We'll be able to do it very quick and safely as well. So we gotta make sure we install this one the same way. And it looks like we are, which is great. And then we will be lining them up the same way as we did with the other ones. That way we can get everything sat perfectly. All right, and with the wheelie bar all done, now we can install it and take a look and see how it looks like. I haven't even put the wheelie bar on this thing yet. I actually have to go and look for the screws for it, so I will be back with you guys. All right, so with grabbing the four screws to the wheelie bar, we do also get other wheelie bar wheels inside of the drag slash. Uh, basically, it comes inside of your instruction manuals. So we do have to switch over our hex driver. We will be needing the 2.5 millimeter hex driver. And we do have to remove the rear aerodynamic wing to install the wheelie bar. So it's just as simple as taking out these four screws here. we will be installing the wheelie bar. So we will be taking out the four screws from in here, just by puncturing a hole in the bag and taking them out. That way we do not lose any of our wheelie bars. 
Not a wheelie bar, a wheelie bar wheels. All right, so let's line this up. We're gonna have to switch over hex heads again. Now the top one is to adjust our angle. The bottom one is basically just to get us in a solid position for the wheelie bar itself. All right. And then we're just gonna spin it around and do the same thing to the other side. Just grab a screw. This is our last screw in the bottom, which we'll be able to flip it back over and we'll get a good lineup of where we want our wheelie bar to be sat at. So I'm gonna spin it around this way. And we're just gonna sit the truck down flush. And we're gonna put the wheelie bar. So with the shocks all the way up, I think we could probably go to the second, the second hole here. That will be good. We should be also able to adjust this whenever we want when we're out drag racing this beast. So let's line this up to the second slot. That may be a little bit too high. We'll have to take a peek. So if we go full adjust. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to see what it would look like if we put it at the first setting. Now the first setting does seem extremely low. So what we're going to do is we're going to, it might be a better idea to add the small, to add the smaller wheels. I'm thinking about it. Should we add the smaller wheels and put this down to the first slot or do we use the bigger wheels and just put it to the second slot? Because then at this point, that's a lot of our tire being off the ground. It's a long way of our tire being off the ground. But we also do have some uneven surface here. So, We'll set it at two. We'll be able to adjust it whenever we want when we go out though. We'll just have to remember what it's at and we'll try and tune it. So the second slot, flipping it over, installing the last screw. Then we gotta flip this thing back upside down and add that arrow kit again. I have a feeling the arrow kit is just going to absolutely blow apart once we hit absolutely anything. And as I said, we have some uneven surface here. It's a lot of potholes. It's super cold a lot of the time where I live, so. Huh, we'll have to see. We'll test it out, don't you guys worry. Alright guys, so that is how you install the Valenian 3S VXL fan and the aluminum wheelie bar to your Traxxas drag slash. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification button so you guys get notified whenever I upload a really cool video just like this one. Alright guys, that's it for Grim Reaper RC today.